So I have the drill set up on that same C channel and I've got this flat bar stock. It's cut off, it's a, I believe it's quarter by four inch, um, but it's cut off to the same width as this table. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill a hole every four inches through this whole bowl, uh, flat bar. And then um, once that's all drilled up, then I'll clamp that bar to this table and then I can just butt the drill into this flat bar stock and drill my first set of holes. Once the first set of holes is drilled, I'll take another piece of bar stock with a hole drilled in it and weld it to this one with my exact four inch spacing and drill a hole through that so I can dowel some um, 5 8 shank bolts through and I can dowel this flat bar to the table and redrill my next row and then that's gonna end up happening for 755 holes. So anyways, I'll, I'll let you see me drill this out and then I'll get set up for the table. So that full first hole is done. Now that that's done, you're gonna see a fast forward. I'm gonna measure all these out and then I'll go ahead and get everything drilled. So cue the fast forward and on your mark, get set, go. Bad news and good news. Bad news is I broke the bit off. Um, set screws, they go in here that hold the shank in. I guess I didn't get them tight enough. One popped out, embarrassing moment, and I shattered. Good news is Bonneville Supply here locally had these in stock. Uh, these are deeper uh, than what I had in there running. And also this one bit cost as much as that entire set almost. For those of you that didn't realize, because probably none of you honestly knew this, because this is something only professionals know, but these need to be tight so that you don't shatter them. Or so that I don't shatter them. Because obviously I didn't do it right. Yeah, I broke the bit off and started looking around thinking, oh, that's crazy. And there's a set screw on the ground by my foot. And I thought, well, shucks, that probably shouldn't be down by my foot. So, let's give these a double twist-a-roo. And get our bar set back up on here, clamp down, and get back to work. Because I've only got uh, 20 more minutes before I have to leave. Welcome back. I've got uh, to get on top of my batteries first and foremost. You guys died. Um, you don't know this, I know this, you don't know this, but today's a different day than the last time you were here. Um, but I made the bar, you saw me make that, you saw me start drilling the holes somewhere around there, you guys fell asleep and I kept working. Well I welded tabs on with holes drilled in it for the spacing and I got two holes drilled and I decided to double check my cross diagonal from the holes in my fixture or my yeah my fixture to the table and I'm five inches one direction like pretty much to the T and then if I switch this other direction I'm five and a sixteenth and so if I was to keep going Eventually all of the holes would work their way that way uh, by a sixteenth of an inch every row which means by the time I got over there I'd be maybe an inch and an eighth out. 
So, uh, anyways, I'm going to cut these welds right here. And on this side, you can't see that one because it goes in your way. Those welds. And I'm actually, instead of being welded to the outside holes, I'm going to move in one hole on each side. Square it up perfectly. I'm going to have two holes that are bad on the entire table. But I'll square up perfectly hole to hole on the diagonal. Um, I, I use squares and stuff to fit this up, but it, it was off just a little bit. So I'll square diagonally this hole to here and this hole to here, and then weld that back on. And then it's going to be super boring for you, and it'll be fast forwarded, but I've got 700 holes to drill. So I think you might have missed a two. I broke one bit already when bought another bit. Uh, the one I bought in town went dull, and I've sharpened it already. Um, and it doesn't drill as good now that I sharpened it, but that's better than not drilling at all. So I'm going to get a skinny well, cut this guy off, slide him over to relocate him, and uh, go from there. Keep watching. Don't go away. Day three, which days one and two were only about two hours each. Day three, I'm going to have about four and a half hours. I'm hoping to get five more rows done. Currently, there's four rows of these holes, uh, plus this hole that I broke the bit in that I haven't really get done yet. But uh, I got some new annular cutters. What you don't know happened is I bought this new bit for $80, and I started running it in the hole that the first bit broke in and there must have been some piece of the first bit in there and it dulled that bit up so I sharpened it with the grinder and it worked for 40 something holes 40 what that be 42 holes um, but I think the new ones that came in the mail will cut a lot faster which should speed me up I'm getting to the point I can do this row but after I do this row I'm gonna have to stand on something to lean further over to drill but uh, as you can see with these clamps, you know, I, I can just drop something in real quick and it's tight. You know, it's, it's, it's crazy fast. It's almost stupid that I haven't done this years ago. I mean, you just slide that in and you're clamped down that quick. Um, if I did buy four more of these at Cal Ranch. They're not Vice Grip brand. Vice Grip brand is the best by far. I bought uh, Lincoln's. They're a little less than half the price, so we'll see how well they last. The Harbor Freight ones just break. But anyways, let's get to drilling. We gotta monopolize on our time.
I'm gonna make uh, these clamps and these two clamps have that uh, stud on the end so they can clamp in and then we'll go back to drilling holes. I just have a little ADD moment and want more clamps. So bear with me, enjoy. <clears throat> Okay, we got the surface ground down, cleaned up on all these. Um, <clears throat> I just bought at the Home Cheapo some 5 8 round stock. It's not perfectly 5 8 it's actually about 25 thousandths shy. Um, if I do have issues these slipping out, I'll go buy some shoulder bolts because they're more precise, but this is drastically cheaper because it's like 12 bucks for three feet. But so far, all of these are working. Haven't had any issues sliding out. See, it doesn't pull out at all, so I'm not too concerned. They're not hardened, but <clears throat> like I said, if we have issues, I can cut them off and weld shoulder bolts on. So, <clears throat> I don't know what the best way to do this is, if I'm being honest. <clears throat>
Okay, so I have this hole that uh, the very first annular cutter broke in. I can't get another cutter through it. There's a chunk of uh, high speed steel stuck in there. So I'm gonna drill it out with uh, old school bit. I'm gonna start out with a smaller one and then end with this one and see if I can get it with those. There's a good chance this will break in there. So stay tuned. Well, I'm gonna try coming up from underneath. I don't know that I can set the drill up upside down, but I'm, I'll maybe have to do it when I flip the table over. Cause I'm not winning. She broke the corners off that bit, so. May have gotten the chunk out, so I'm on, gonna give another shot real quick. I'm gonna sharpen that up real quick and give it another shot. I think I got past the bad spot. We were just victorious. Look at that victory. <sighs> okay, well, I'm super excited. Today is uh, the fifth day that I've come to drill holes. Uh, today I definitely spent more time than any other day. A lot of the uh, other day or the other days I had uh, one day I had like three hours um, but today I'm into it about six and a half it's uh, I'll throw the number right here but it's 14 long and uh, let's count them I think it's 23 1 2 3 4 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So 14 by 22. I'm too tired to think, so there will be a number right there. 14 times 22. Uh, I have a huge mess underneath. I've emptied this about 20 times. That's the bottom half of a 55-gallon drum. So without cleaning up what's underneath, this is how much shavings there are. It's uh, one third of a 55 gallon drum. So tons and tons of drilling. I think I'll, I'll look through the camera footage, but I think I'm somewhere around 14 hours of drilling. So I found on the second half I did the entire second half today I found on the second half is easier to not have the vacuum running I thought it'd be faster to have it running and killing up as I went but it was way faster just to sweep everything so anyways I'm gonna pan you over here these are cutoffs from the table uh, they're both four inches they're gonna get welded underneath here and uh, I'll see if I can get you to a good line of sight but this plate's not perfectly flat and so those will act as plates to straighten it out i think you can see it right there um if i put a straight edge on there you can see the straight edge teeter totter a ton so should be tight the whole length, but it's not. See, there's a gap tight on the end. Gap, tight, bigger gap. So, welding those gussets on 
I look great today, don't I? Welding those gussets on, or plates, will help me straighten out the whole table. Keep these lines nice and true. And then uh, I've got some four and a half by five by uh, quarter inch wall. So this, put my hand in there for perspective. This is what's gonna be the legs of the table. I've got these two 12 foot chunks and then three more 12 foot chunks there. I don't need all of it, no, but that's gonna be legs. And then there's gonna be a shelf. I also have some green, green leaf parts bins right there that's gonna get built into it. So I have some storage drawers built into the table. You can see them right there. So this is going to be a really long video. I figure if I speed it up 15 times, which is faster than I usually do, that's one hour of drilling. Um, I think it's kind of cool to see each hole drilled and the drill grown across, but I'm going to have to speed it up probably 25 or 30 times um, so that you don't have to watch two hours of this. Maybe I'll do a, like a picture in picture in the top corner. So anyways... Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Hopefully this is interesting for some of you. Uh, I can link some other videos of people that have done tables that are be probably better or fancier than this because they use CAD and are more precise than I am. But this table is going to be amazing for me. Uh, it's a little bigger than most. It's 5x8. Most people do 4x8 uh, or smaller. So, But anyways, it wasn't 700 holes, but it's whatever... That number they popped up right there, 14 times 22. So, uh, anyways, like, comment, subscribe, share, show everybody. Uh, this is going to be by far the most productive, production improving project that I have for myself. Um, uh, if you want to see what's coming up soon, we're going to start working on this 40 kilowatt Detroit diesel generator. Uh, this is not the first engine I ever rebuilt, but the first en engine I ever rebuilt was a 271 Detroit. So I built this trailer, found this box, and I'm mounting this generator on here that's been a long time in the making. And then here's a bunch of plate for it. You've been seeing me walk circles around this for months now. This is going to become an enclosure. These archers are built for the enclosure. So, uh,. Probably worst case scenario next week we're going to be starting closing this generator in because I might be losing this shop soon. So anyways, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share. See you next time.